Mmm. Good smoke. Hey YouTube, Pipe Lawyer here. Coming to you from my house on a Friday night. And you know what that means. It's time for Friday Night Pipes. And in this week's edition of Friday Night Pipes, it's during Rum Week. Wherein each day I'm featuring a different rum blend uh, from different uh, pipe blenders. And today's no exception. Um, this week's MVP is a previous MVP and is one of my great smokers. And it is none other than the pipe you just saw me smoking, the Boswell Jumbo Author. And this is one of three pipes that I received uh, that same week. Um, one was a Um Paul, and one was a, uh, a nice, what I call the Boswell Dunhill. But this was the MVP that week, and it's a nice jumbo sized author. Look at that beautiful contouring and shaping, and all that beautiful grain. Bird's eye on the right side, and some flame grain on the left, and then extending all the way down onto the bottom, the, the underside of the bowl. And all around there. The thing I like about this pipe is that it, it has a strong Danish influence in its shape. If you didn't know that this was a Boswell, you might easily say or think that this was a pipe by S. Bong or Yes Chanovich or um, uh, Sarah L. Tong, I think. Some of these, you know, premium, extremely high end, expensive Danish pipe makers, but this is a Boswell and I just love the distinction and the elegance it's very very graceful it's got a slight bent saddle style stem um, it's very elegant and it's very nice and it's a great smoker too so that's this week's MVP the Boswell Jumbo Author smoking a rum blend in it mmm And the rum blend that I'm smoking in it is a rum blend that is by a tobacconist that's been around since 1870, based in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. Um, long time doing this, and when you do one thing for an extremely long time, then almost by default you get very, very good at it. Well, that holds true for this uh, pipe blender, who is none other than L.J. Peretti. <clears throat> and they're based uh, in Boston, Massachusetts. Been in operation since 1870, and it's been in the family. It's another family-owned business, like Boswell's and what have you, since 1870. And in the book... The Perfect Pipe, which I think I featured on a previous video, there is on page or pages 124 and 125 pictures of the inside of Peretti's in Boston, Massachusetts. That's just some shelving there with the antique style jars that they keep their blends in. And here are a few black and white stills of Robert Peretti himself. I don't know if this is the same gentleman that spoke to me on the phone. This uh, this book, I think, was published like 10 or 12 years ago. But uh, it's all in the family. And those scales with the very long chains you, you see there, those low-hanging scales, those are, actually, those are actually used to measure gold. And instead, they're being used to measure pipe tobacco. The antique scale was designed for use by 19th century metal assayers to measure gold so that's how they measure their blends when they sell to folks like you and me they're strictly old school 
and the rumblin which is called B94 why it's called B94 I don't know but this I do know it's very very good it has that same hand blended touch that you can smell and taste Again, like Boswell's Rum River, VT Pipes Rum Cake, that hand blended touch gives it that weight that gives it that, that custom blended taste or feel. Uh, and I'm going to assume that since Paredes has been around since, as, as long as they've been around since, that they also employ the method of using the essence or the extract of the thing, the item, the flavor, and incorporating into the blend rather than doing a simple spray. It's mildly earthy, which I like. Not you know, sugar sweet, just a subtle sweetness, but a, a very good room note. Uh, to put the one from the, the rum blend from BT Pipes next to Boswell's, next to Peretti's, and do like a, a, a blind, you know, smoke test, puff test, I think you'd, you'd have a very hard time trying to distinguish maybe not so much in terms of flavor but in terms of quality because each of those three are very 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 good um, old world craftsmanship at a reasonable price um, I, I'd say <clears throat> the final three that I've done so far are pretty much on the same par I mean as in terms of being that well made So, oh. good smoke, good smoke, and despite the you know the times that you've seen me light it, it actually stays lit quite well. I just want to get it that good hit of smoke and good hit of flavor. So. There concludes day five of Rum Week and this week's edition of Friday Night Pipes. Uh, I may or may not do one or two more rum blends that I uh, have laying around here somewhere, but uh, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's got me thirsty, but uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing another series sometime in the future on different pipe blenders takes on different flavors and if you have any ideas or comments as to what flavors you'd like me to uh, talk about and try out for you just drop me a comment and uh, I'll look into it um, as I said Peretti's makes a very very good coffee blend so I might do a series on uh, different makers of coffee blends um, but in any event this week is rum and as I said, I may do one or, or two more, I'm not sure. But in any event, therein is Friday Night Pipes for you. Until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And remember, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care and God bless. Dig the shirt. <laughs>